From the sensual touch of the Argentine tango to the meditative contortions of Japanese buto, the fluid energy of American breakdancing to the rhythmic control of European ballet, we are a world of movers. But why do we do it? And what can our long love affair with dance teach us about ourselves? One, dance is the hidden language of the soul. JLo, like me, considers dancing her first love. The urge to do it, be it at four years old in my living room, on a mountainside or in a studio, has stuck with me all my life. The purpose of dance, it's like asking, what's the purpose of a heartbeat? It's to keep us alive, it's to keep societies bonded together, it's to keep our minds ticking over and it's to keep us fit and healthy. We've been dancing since the beginning of human time, and it's an integral part of who we are as humans. The first records of humans dancing are from cave paintings in India, which date back to about 10,000 years ago. By the era of ancient Greece, people were dancing to celebrate gods and to entertain crowds at the Greek Olympic Games. In Europe, dancing moved from rural villages into the royal courts of kings and queens. By the 19th century, dancing became more lively and more ambitious. When the waltz first started, it was seen as something quite horrendous. It was seen as something quite shocking because bodies were touching and there was this kind of intimacy. We also know that the tango, which is thought to have evolved from the brothels of Buenos Aires, of this coupling of people together, changes society. And then sometimes society changes the way that we dance. Two. You dance love, and you dance joy, and you dance dreams. Much of the dance choreographed and performed today has its roots in ballet, which dates back to 15th century Italy. Ballet became an art, telling entire stories through expressive movements. Ballet has a worldwide influence. Because the rules are so rigid, they're perfect for breaking. And this is what makes dance so magical. People are taking these balletic movements and changing them and evolving them. In response to ballet came modern dance, jazz, hip hop and break dance. And you only need to scroll through social media to see how dance continues to evolve. On Instagram alone, the dance hashtag has been used over 120 million times. Throughout our lives, the way we dance can change. We assume that our verbal language is our first language. We call it the L1, our first language, our mother tongue. But that's not it. Our first language, historically, is body movement, and we communicate through our body movement. Children intuitively express themselves by dancing to music. But as we grow up and become self-aware, many people stop dancing. A large portion of society thinks they're not the right type of person to dance because we take something that's really fundamental and natural and expressive in movement, and then we codify it, we make it very strict, we judge people for it, people feel self-conscious when they do it, and then people stop doing it. I haven't always danced. I thought if I couldn't dance professionally, why dance at all? It was many years later when I realized what I had lost. When we dance, it stimulates so many areas of our brain the balance area, the visual perception area, the memory areas of the brain, all those different aspects of the brain become stimulated when we move our body in different ways. We get a release of the endogenous opioid system and that, that production of opioids gives us a high when we dance. So the question is less, why do we dance? And more, why must we dance? Three, everything in the universe has rhythm. Everything dances. It's a glue that bonds societies together. But it's not just about the broader society. We dance with our families and our significant others. We dance for identity, to belong to certain groups. When I dance, I feel more connected with other people. My anxieties and worries seem to be pushed aside for a moment while I'm dancing. My emotions can be expressed. My thinking is different. My heart, my body just feels alive. We dance to belong, to seduce, to find peace and taste joy. We dance to stand up for what we believe in. We dance to heal and we dance because this is what it is to be human.